Okay, so I just posted the walkthrough of our venue in Brenham, Bren, B-R-E-N-H-A-M, not Bren, Brenham, Texas, here. And there's all kinds of stuff here, but I'm gonna take you into the visitor center and let the gentleman here explain about this beautiful town. So we are in the gift shop here. And somebody's sitting in the back. So introduce yourself and tell our, all of our friends about who you are and what you do. My name is John Dent. I work in the Brenham, Washington County Visitor Center here in Brenham, Texas. Uh, our primary job is to welcome guests to Brenham as they come in when we get some from Brenham and from, from outside areas and to tell them a little bit of the history of Brenham and Texas. Uh, Brenham was, initially started out as a town called Hickory Grove. Mm. In 1844, it was renamed Brenham in honor of Dr. Richard Fox Brenham, who was a hero of the Texas Revolution. Uh, since Brenham has become, at one time, Brenham was the commerce center of the nation of Texas, and at one time was twice the size of Houston and Austin combined. Wow. Because all commerce came through Brenham, either leaving or entering the state. And that's what we have all of the kind of brochures around here, kind of what you can do in Washington County, and why Washington County is called the birthplace of Texas. Mm. Because in 1836, in Washington on the Brazos, the Texas Declaration of Independence from Mexico was signed. Wow. And Texas became an independent country. Yeah, I love that. And that is the Independence Hall at Washington on the Brazos State Park where the Texas Declaration of Independence was signed. Oh, that's great. And there's this, and you have Bluebell ice cream here. We have Bluebell ice cream. I'm certainly hoping they're gonna have some, some tubs of that upstairs tonight for us. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for that. But this is great. And you had told me about the floor here. The floor is a, a map of Washington. Beautiful marquee up here, the birthplace of Texas. It's interesting. I, I've been I've worked since 1984 with Phil Collins, mm -hmm. and he is he's so enamored with Texas, and he had the biggest collection in the world of yes. Alamo memorabilia, mm -hmm. and uh, he donated it all back to the Alamo. Yeah, we really appreciate that here. Oh, no, Texas. he was so excited whenever they do these, you know, Alamo meetings, mm -hmm. and they right. bring him in as like a, uh, mm -hmm. a guest speaker on it. He's so, because he, he always talked about when he was a little kid watching Davy Crockett mm -hmm. on, you know, Disney with Fess Parker, mm -hmm. and he just became enamored. <laughs> was able to uh, play out his life, you know, Certainly. enjoying this, but this is really, you know, I'll continue. Can we pick up Yes, that gentleman is going to be here. What can I do for you, ladies? Two for Emily. Emily. Perfect. Are you? Thank you. So it's just, it's really a lovely. And right up there, there's, there's our tour bus. All I can say is if I could leave with something from here, it would be this truck. That bluebell truck. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for this. Uh, Thank you. Really I'm appreciate you guys, what you're doing. I'm too. glad. I'm glad you guys are here. Yeah. And I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful show. Yeah. The sound check felt really good. No, so no, no. we're excited about it. So have a really nice evening. You too. Enjoy. Just look at all these good things here. And you should actually take a package of blue bottle seeds. Ooh. Excellent. I will plant those in my yard. I love gardening, so this is perfect. This is great. Thank you all. Thank you. Take care. Have a good evening.
Okay, everybody, so that's me making up for um, apparently a mispronunciation. So we're in Brenham, and uh, I just had a little visit there. So take good care. Talk to you later.